Samsung Galaxy S9 versus LG G7 ThinQ speed test. That video is coming up right now. Now on both devices and scrolling through both of these, no issues. They're both about the same, but you know you can't have an app drawer or no app drawer. The only difference is you have a notch on this phone. Let's begin with clock three, two, one, and you can see about the same. I mean, I think slightly to LG with the animation, very very slight. You have to slow it down to see that. Let's go into calculator. And you can see, to me, it looked like LG once again slightly. Let's go into settings, and you can see very similar. Let's go into Play Store, and Play Store is on the right for the LG G7 ThinQ. What about Instagram? You can see Instagram loads first for the LG G7. See, scrolling through, it should be very equal performance. I mean, they're both rocking the same CPU here on both devices. Let's go into Twitter, three, two, one. And let's see which one can open Twitter first. That's the LG G7 ThinQ. Let's go into Snapchat. And you can see G7 ahead there. Let's go into WhatsApp. You can see G7 just a little bit. Let's go into YouTube. And you can see that one's about even on both. So you can see that, you know, Samsung has made great improvements to touch with, but maybe the G7 speed is a little bit better so far. Let's go into Prime Video. And you can see G7 ahead there once again. Let's go into eBay. And you can see eBay is first. Actually, yeah, that was the G7 again. Let's open up this laptop. G7 again. So maybe the animation is just a little bit slicker for the G7. Let's go into Amazon. And you can see G7 again. Let's go over here to this little helmet or whatever. Let's go there. And let's just click this one see about the same so performance pretty equal but I just think LG's animation is a little bit quicker than TouchWiz let's go into Jetpack Joyride and you can see this is ahead for same GPU though but that was definitely the LG G7 let's go into Dead Trigger 2 both on high graphic settings 3 2 1 and see which one can open this up first and it looks like the LG is ahead let's hit play but let's see which one gets in there first and we actually start playing Samsung's ahead there, so Samsung comes back in Dead Trigger 2. So both of these do have the same GPU though, so gaming should be about equal. Let's go into Slither. And you can see Slither is open first on the LG. And you can see play against uh, AI. So this is why I think people say a lot of the times that LG phones are underrated because they basically compete at the same level as the most popular, you know, Samsung Galaxy S9, iPhone 10 but they don't get as much sales. Let's go into Geekbench, and you can see about the same on both devices, and let's go into Video Shop. And that one looked about the same as well. Let's go into CPU Z, and you can see that's the Galaxy S9. So basically equal performance here, a little bit of animation difference on the G7, giving it the edge in terms of just like milliseconds of a different, not even that, it's just very, very slight. You would only see this in slow motion. So basically equal performance here on the single core or the single application opening. Let's go through some multitasking now. Okay guys, so we're gonna run through some multitasking. Let's begin with CPU Z. You could see about the same. Let's go into Video Shop. And that's about the same. Geekbench, again, very similar. Speed test and let's go into Slither. And you can see very similar performance in Dead Trigger 2. Both holding everything so far, four gigs of RAM on each. And you can see, pretty good there. And Amazon, about the same. Let's go into eBay. And it looks like the S9 had a little bit of a reload there. What about Prime Video? And yes, the G7 better there. Let's go into YouTube. And the G7 a little bit better there. WhatsApp, that's about the same. It looks like a reload on both. Snapchat reloads, so they're both choking up now, but the G7 did a little better. Twitter, again, to the G7, so the G7 looking pretty good. Instagram, you see a little bit of choppiness there. Play Store, and you see the S9 win on that one. Settings, both reloaded. Calculator, both reloaded that as well, and Lock, and about the same. So, basically similar performance again through multitasking. I think the G7 is doing a little bit better with its 4 gigs of RAM versus the S9's 4 gigs of RAM. 
Um, if you want the better performance, you definitely want to get the S9 Plus for the S9 series, but the S9 is still strong performance. It's just, I think the G7 was going for a little bit better optimization when it came to that multitasking from what I see. Okay, I quickly want to cover the cameras because the LG G7 has a slow shutter speed, and this is an area where the S9 is definitely quicker. So let's go ahead and go into the camera on both devices, three, two, one. And let me just go ahead and show you. Let me put something in the frame here. How about this iPhone 10 right here? Let's go ahead and put this in the frame. And you could just see the difference it's gonna take in shutter speed. So let me go ahead and just get in auto mode on both. And go for the S9 first, three, two, one. You seen that? Now three, two, one. So you see how slow that shutter speed was on the G7? One, two, three. And one, two, three. So it's just a little bit slower there for the shutter speed, but that's just a little thing I wanted to point out on the LG G7. That doesn't deter the camera quality at all. We can do a comparison on that, but I just wanted to tell you that the speed to get into the camera, focusing, stuff like that, is just faster on the Galaxy S9. Okay, so I compiled a 30 second video here to see which one can render better here on both, and let's hit next. And we're gonna go ahead and hit share. We're gonna do it in the highest settings for both devices and hit the gallery. Three, two, one. See which one can compile this first. It's a pretty close race so far. Looks like the Samsung might be ahead. And that's the Galaxy S9 for the win. So the S9 might be the faster phone to render out your videos. Let's go ahead and run a Geekbench right now, and I'll be back when the final scores are in for both gadgets. Okay, so we have our final scores in the LG G7 ThinQ with the win on both. So this is a win here for LG and Geekbench, so if you care about that, that's your winner. So we have arrived at the conclusion of this speed test. I think the LG G7 is a little bit of a faster phone than the Galaxy S9 on you know certain applications, but I think it's slow in certain UI elements. So I think LG needs a few updates, but then it will be a little bit quicker feeling than the Samsung. But the Samsung has rock solid performance. I just think touch with the animations are slightly slower and uh, the Geekbench is basically identical, slightly better for the G7. So basically what you have here is equal performance phones, but you're gonna have to decide on other areas. Like do you want the wide angle camera? Do you want the compact big screen LG G7 or you want the compact Galaxy S9? with no notch on it there's other factors so if you want to see a should you buy galaxy s9 or g7 thin q video where we discuss which one to get and uh, all the factors around that comparison go ahead and drop that down below and if you found this